Me and my twin and I'm She's holding She just looked at me Oh, sauce Sauce We still have the old dip We have the old dip Old dip and new dip No, we don't have old dip anymore and there's more sauce, sauce here. You need ketchup. Chips. Here is more uh, pasta sauce. That's what I just said. <laughs> you just said that? Yes. <laughs> and I said you need ketchup. You didn't hear any of that? No. <laughs> we can do no. this one. I have all of the meals. Sauce. Yeah. So then the, I have like many pieces of meat with our meat part. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Snacks over here. Why does this all look healthy? This is nice for dip. Oh, yeah. My favorite in Belgium. You know how to say all the fruits, all the like fruit juices in Spanish are super different than everything else. Like orange is naranja. Passion fruit is maracuya. Like, maracuya. you would think it's like fruto de pasión or something. <laughs> It's a romance. Yeah, that's why I said no. Oh, Favorite type of 
second, I think the food I think is gonna be like uh, a glimpse of living together already. Hello. Hello. We are going to be answering a few questions that we received on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the first question, where did y'all meet? And I'll let you answer. So we met on Instagram officially. <laughs> Why did you take that long? <laughs> because he slid in my DMs on Instagram, but he found me on TikTok. Right. So he saw a video of mine and we can like put up videos or pictures on the side, but he saw a video of mine on his for you page, I think. Um at the Chop Daily video, I remember the black dress. So he saw that video and then wait, first say why you decided to slide in my Instagram DMs from that video. <laughs> oh, I just thought you looked good and you had good vibes and you just intrigued me. I wanted to slide in DMs. And he did. And I saw his message among the many. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's not kidding. I'm not kidding. So I saw his message, but he slid in, uh, like, his message, not even just like the hey or whatever, but he stood out, e very easily stood out. So he got my response, and then we started dming back and forth a little bit but then i think it was like maybe a week or two that went by like you dm'd me end of october i think then it was my birthday the next week and then yeah then the week after is when i messaged you and i was like no you sent me your number yeah, and then i messaged you a few days later and i was like hey it's jade <laughs> on on imessage and then we started FaceTiming, and then we met for the first time in person uh, the week of Christmas in Atlanta. Yeah. And that's when he asked me to be his girlfriend. So that's how we met. So the next question is, how long have you guys been dating? So now it's uh, one year and three months. So. Yeah. Officially. Officially. Who liked who first? I think we, so there's a question that says, who liked who first? I think we kind of answered that. Uh, did we? Omar liked me first because he slid in my DMs. Do they mean it that way or do they? Who fell in love first? Omar also fell in love. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Omar fell in love first. On his flight back home from Atlanta when he met me, he told me. He loves me. <laughs> Uh, so the next question says or asks what were the first impressions you had of each other when you met mm. did you think you guys would be very different in person you want to answer first not very different you were just taller than I expected mm -hmm. but since we FaceTimed a lot I already like knew what character to expect so I didn't think you were very different in person, just taller than expected. And first impression when we met? Uh, just like happiness, like finally seeing you in real life. You were happy? Yeah. That was my first impression. Okay. Um, my first impression? He was way taller than I expected, I think. That's like the main thing. I, I knew you were tall, mm -hmm. but s I've never been around someone that tall. So I was just kind of like, whoa, <laughs> looking up the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you would, I thought he would be different in person because I feel like, I don't know, I felt like in person there, it would be like, okay, I got to see the real you. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But then it's, it, it was the same exact thing same as yeah, he said it was exactly. literally the same yeah. so I thought yes but then it, it was normal it was fine yeah. and I was nervous I'm pretty sure he was nervous yeah, too I was nervous too but it just felt natural it felt very natural so. 
How do you guys handle being in a long distance relationship? Um, it's hard. It's a lot of work. It's hard, but... It's worth it. Yeah. It's not that hard because we know each other's schedule. Like, we send each other's schedule every week. When I'm busy, she's usually busy. And then the only thing that's annoying is just the six-hour difference. But Jade goes to sleep really early and wakes up really early. So it kind of almost like matches our schedules just like the hour dip is sometimes a little annoying yeah but when i have a two three hour practice she has a two three hour class so we always like save time to talk to each other on the phone or do like online like virtual dates stuff like that so but sometimes I have a five-hour class and he just plays video games and mm -hmm. waits for me and I feel very bad. Keeps myself busy. Yeah, he keeps himself busy. Class. So, yeah. But other than that, it's hard, but we just put in work both for each other. So we make it easier for each other. So it really takes putting in the effort of knowing each other's schedule, you know, like making time for one another. Mm -hmm. Um things that make it easier is like having something to look forward to so we already have his flight yeah. booked for the next yeah. meet um like scheduling holidays like yeah like free time we'll get with each other yeah because it makes yeah. it easier knowing that there's something to look forward to yeah it's like a goal or motivation mm -hmm. it's like a reward yeah yeah what's the dream for two of you, like short term, like after the summer to live in the same country or city, um, hopefully live together if not really close to each other, um, and then yeah, just like being done with long distance and just having way more time with each other. Yeah. So, but long term, I don't know. Just stay happy with each other. Mm -hmm. Keep making each other grow. Uh, achieve our goals. It's like a little cliche, but that's really how it is. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. You don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said everything. Short term girl goals. Short term goals. Mm -hmm. I agree with. Long term goals. I also agree with. Like. Mm -hmm. We just want to be happy, keep loving each other, keep living life, continue continue to explore everything that the world has to offer mm -hmm. and each other has to offer. When will Omar have basketball matches? Uh, I have a game, sometimes two games every week. So if, if you guys do want to watch or some people love basketball, I can or Jade can put the links of the league that I play in. I'll put the link. Yeah. How old are both of you? We're both 23. Omar is one month older than me. Yeah. A month and like a week. So what's you guys' uh, zodiac signs? You can go. I say mine? Yeah. I'm a Libra. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah. I don't really know a lot about zodiac signs, so... We work. <laughs> yeah. I'm very intense and Omar is very sensitive like with me. Yeah. And I'm very intense, so we have to balance that. Mm -hmm. That's like the main thing about our signs, I think. Yeah. Um what's your individual heights? Um I'm 6'8. I'm 5'8. Yeah. So there's a foot one foot difference. But it's honestly not a bad difference, like, because earlier you said I was really taller, like taller than expected. But I feel like it's nice heights together. Yeah. Like, now I feel now it's nice and normal. Yeah. But at first I was like, whoa, because <laughs> yeah. I'm I've always been the tallest person like in my class and mm. stuff. So to me it was really mm. you were tall. I get that. At all. <laughs> 
I it seems like so many. They asked like the same question. Mm, let's make sure that we don't forget a person's question. Okay, next question is who is more impatient? Who is more spoiled or sensitive? <laughs> I off the bat, I think spoiled I'm more spoiled. Spoiled in what way? Like spoiled by parents or spoil each other? With each other. Oh, okay. You can answer. I think I'm definitely more spoiled. Why do you say that? Cause you baby me a lot. Mm. And I baby you too, but I like being baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And who do you think is more sensitive? I don't know. It's like we're both sensitive in our own way. Yeah. We just show show it differently. Like, like she said earlier, she's more intense, and I'm more like quiet. Yeah. But sensitive, but quiet. Yeah. And for impatience. I think we're. I think we both have a good level of patience, but yours comes out in certain environments, and mine comes out in different environments. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say like the previous thing, both impatience in different ways. Yeah. When you're patient, mm -hmm. no. When you, I'm impatient, mm -hmm. you're patient with me. Yeah. And when he, he's being impatient, I'm patient with him. So yeah. it like we balance out regardless. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's true. Um, how does it feel when you guys get together after a long time? Um, obviously really nice. Um, just like the first days, you just don't re really realize it yet. So it's like the last couple of days until like her or I have to leave again. That's when it like sucks, but... Yeah. Like right now we're on our last couple of days and it's we're already starting to feel like mm. this is a close to the end. Yeah. But it's nice. It's nice. Have you met each other's close friends and families? Mm. I don't know. Jada's met a bunch of my friends so far. My brother, my mom. Met one of my brothers. Yeah. One of my brothers, my mom and friends. And first impressions, like, everybody like Jade. I mean, Jade is just easy person to get along with, so. But it was always a good vibe with everyone. Like, there hasn't been any issues. So. Same here. Um, Omar has met in person my mom, my aunts, my, like, mom's best friend who are considered aunts, cousins, and mm. friends. Mm. And everybody loves Omar. He's also very easy to, get easy to get along with, even though he's very quiet and shy. I'm also shy at mm -hmm. the beginning, though. We don't really yeah. talk much. I think we've met important women in each other's lives in person. And the rest of the family, we've met over the phone. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. we've met everyone, basically. Well, I think that's all the questions we have this time around. We might do another Q&A if there are more questions that we can answer. Yeah. But that's all for now. We're going to just continue about our day. We have a few things we have to do before yeah. the day ends. So thank you guys for asking questions. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm not. <laughs> okay, we're heading to the bar right now, and we just finished our Q&A, but just remembered. We get this question a lot in our comments. Why does Omar never smile? And he's really just a laid back person. And we hope that you can see this more like in our in the YouTube videos that we put out together. You'll start to see like he's really just quiet and vibing. He smiles when I make him smile. When I make him laugh, he's, he likes it. I wear my emotions on my face, so. We're just very different in that way. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. New day who is.
Now we can go get ourselves some real food. <laughs> We just went to the gas station to try to make some TikToks, but it's cold and we're freezing. I wanted to do at least five of them. Yeah, we didn't get to do as many as we wanted, but <laughs> we didn't get to do as many as we wanted. But. That was kind of like a back burner thing, so it's okay. I want to do this one smooth. Now we're going to pick a bird. <laughs> <That's recording. laughs> I'm recording full time, what do you mean? <laughs> he wanted to do this one smooth. But now we're going to pick up our real dinner, because we didn't get real dinner. Go drive bread. Juicy. Head home to the warm, ah, to the warmth, and enjoy our last night together. Last full night together. Because tomorrow he has a game. Bye! <laughs>